Okay, we have to be very, very careful of this question. Anytime the SAT tests percentages, there's a high chance that we make a careless mistake, we fall for a trap, we gotta be really nervous here. And so it's especially dangerous because it is a percent change, and we have to be really careful that we're changing the right percentages and we're doing it in the right way. There's an order here. And luckily we have a formula that's gonna help us. What I call the open formula, which uh, I invented and is a way to stay organized with percentages. So in this case, because it is a percent change, the open formula is gonna look like this. We have the original amount, we times it by one plus or minus P to reflect the change. We'll talk more about that in a second. And the P is the percentage, and that equals the new value, okay? So the percentage part is easy. They tell us it's 12% higher. The best part about this formula is it's very intuitive as far as the percentage goes. So we just wanna represent the uh, increase with a plus instead of a minus. And then the P, we have to write the percentage as a decimal, so that's gonna be 0 0.12. But that's very intuitive. The other piece is where most people mess up, right? And, and whether you use my formula or a different one, this is the thing that people mess up, is they mess up, what are we taking a percentage of, okay? They try to outthink the question. But the question is, is very clear here that our original amount, the amount that we're basing this change upon, is Kitchen World, okay? Appliance Corp's uh, dishwasher is 12% higher than the dishwasher at Kitchen World. That's our starting value. So Kitchen World is going to go here, and then Appliance Corp is going to go over here. I'm purposely not writing the numbers in just yet. So what this means then is we are going to actually take a percentage in this case by doing division, which is the opposite of what we would expect. Because we don't know Kitchen World's price, we know Appliance Corp. So when that goes in, we're going to have 1.12 is uh, times k is equal to 622.36. Okay, so to solve for K, we're going to end up dividing both sides by 1.12, and we thankfully have a calculator, so 622.36 divided by 1.12 gets us 555.68, and that is choice B, and that is the correct answer. If you didn't use the formula, and you just kind of winged it with logic, you're probably going to fall for the trap of choice A. Because what a lot of people do here is they think, well, if I have 12% more at Alliance uh, Appliance Corp, I can just take 12% of the 622 and then subtract it out. So you do 0.12 times 622.36 and you subtract out whatever that number is. And I guarantee you it's going to give you choice A. It's close to choice B, but it's not exact. And the SAT will absolutely do this. They will take advantage of the fact that percentages are not really reversible. If we, it's very important when we take any percentage that we understand what we're taking a percentage of. What is our starting value? What is our base value? And then what is the result? But in real life, we very often are, are given the original amount, right? So we don't have to think about division and percentages, and that's why we associate it with multiplication. But the SAT knows this. They design the questions to kind of flip things around and make it a little bit backwards, hoping that you're not paying attention. But luckily, the open formula will keep us organized and force us to get the right answer just by plugging things into the right places.